Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have another exciting game for you guys. This one is called Kirby Bowling. You can download this free template below uh, this video. But before that, I hope that you guys can like, share, and comment. It'll really help out this channel a lot. And if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I um, post them up on this channel. So let's take a look at the new um, Kirby bowling game here. Uh, start the game by hitting play. All right. So on the left, we have the how to play instructions. You can play this one on one or in a small group. And you can read through this later after you download your uh, free template. And on the right, you have the how to edit your own game. And I'll show you that later. Um, so I hope you guys can watch this video to the end to learn how to edit your own game for your own classroom. All right, so let's click on the little controller here on the bottom right corner. That'll bring us to the first uh, game. And to play the game, it's quite simple. You click on Kirby here. That'll bring up the Q&A. You can write this in later. And at the bottom, you have your answer. You have four choices to choose from. You can also edit the answer later to match your Q&A. And click on Kirby again to hide the Q&A. So go ahead and do that. And then the uh, students can choose a bowling ball to match the, the answer. All right, that one didn't match, so let's try bowling ball number three. All right, so let's try number four here. All right, got a strike and it loads up the second round. So click on the second round here. Again, click on Kirby. Ask the students the question. Click on Kirby again to hide the Q&A and they can try to match the answer to the question. So let's try bowling ball three. And let's try number four. Not a, that didn't match either. And let's try number one. And then you can click on the next round. Again, click on Kirby. Write your question up here. Click on Kirby again to hide the Q&A. And students can choose a bowling ball down here to match the question. All right, successful strike. Click on round four to go to the next round. Again, click on Kirby. Write your question up here. Click on Kirby again to hide the Q&A and students can answer the question by clicking on the bowling ball. So you can test it out and click around see what happens all right we'll just go through this really quickly all right test it out by clicking on the Q&A click on Kirby again and you can try by clicking on some bowling balls down here If you guys enjoy my materials and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what other games you guys would like to see me try making. 
I've used this a few times with my students and they really enjoyed it so I hope your students enjoy um, this game as well. We're almost till the end. Alright. Again, click on Kirby to reveal the question. Click on Kirby again to hide the question. And the students can try to match um, the answer to the question. Now we've got the final, uh, the end here. So click on that. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoy that little demonstration. Now let's look at how we can edit this game. Uh, once you download this template, um, just go to slide 2 to slide 13. Just write your question over here. Um, you can do like any, you can do anything. Uh, it could be like a question and at the bottom you could put just the numbers and they can choose like random numbers. Or it could be like a, um, a phrase or a sentence that you're teaching in class and they can finish the, the sentence. For example, um, there. something like that and then if you zoom out of the screen underneath the um, bowling ball you can see that says wrong 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 right so this one is the right answer right here so maybe you can put there is a uh, there is there is uh, oops let's go zoom back in here a little bit there is an there is R there is some. All right, and then hit the play button here. Click on Kirby to reveal the answer. There is a uh, and are some. There, there is some water in the fridge. So click on Kirby again to hide. And there you go. And you hit the escape button to get out. And this is just one way of uh, playing the game. Um, you can, however, you can use it and edit it, ed ed edit it any way you want for your class, for your lesson. Another way you could do is, um, you can ask them just a simple question. Um, like that. And then down here, you can just put numbers. So this way is more random. Um, the first, the first way I showed you, um, they could probably figure out the answer um, fairly easily. So this one is a different way you can do it. You can hit the um, play button here and hit on Kirby here. Hide Kirby again, and then now they can just choose a ball, number one, number three. And it's ball four. So this is another way that um, you can also use this game. Um, you can put your, your own question up here. Like that. And then at the bottom here, you can put numbers instead of um, the answer. Now you can test it out by hitting the play button. And click on Kirby again to reveal the question, students answer. And this way students can get a chance to, um, each student can get a chance to answer the question. Click on Kirby again to hide the Q&A and then each student can choose a ball to try to score a point. Alright, 
So that's how you um, edit the Q&A. And as I showed you before, there are many uh, ways, or various ways to, to play this game. Um, so just get really creative with it. And if the music is too loud, just zoom out of this slide. Make sure you zoom out. And you'll find a boom box up here. And you can adjust the volume to fit your uh, need or your class. I usually teach online, so I usually put this to very low so I can hear the uh, students speak. And that is about it for the game. If you want to make extra slide, just make sure uh, to click on any slide here. Right click, choose duplicate slide. And you can move this anywhere, but just make sure you change the round. So right now it's, it's round seven and you want to change it to like round eight or something like that. All right, and then hit save. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy my little demonstration. You guys, if you guys have any questions, please don't forget to write them down in the comment section below and I'll have a look at that. And if you enjoy my content and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. As always, I want to thank you guys and I wish you the best of luck in your classes. <laughs>